Hey Kansas, this is Ivan, how you doing? Today I want to do something different and ask for your assistance. Uh, and I'm having a case of writer's block. So it's November 15th and I'm making this video. I'll probably post it in a day or two. Um, so here's the deal. You know, I, I've talked about before a little bit that I like to run my own stuff. I like, you know, I'm a fan of, of uh, some, some published materials and I actually have some really cool stuff from Limitations I want to check out. Um, that I really haven't made eye well marks on yet. Um, but I, but I like my own stuff, and, and there's a couple of reasons for that. I like to have control over it, and it probably more importantly is I don't want anybody to have the chance to kind of have spoilers. And this isn't just because I want to like you know rub my hands together and cackle in delight as people um, you know blunder into stuff, but it's also as a player I really like not knowing what the heck is going on. I, I hate it when I kind of know you know, already. I, I played some modules and whatnot where I, I knew it was going to happen. I don't like that. I like to be surprised. In, in one game I was in, actually, I was not present for, for one game. My original character died. I had to split. Other players knew something. They didn't tell me for months. So I had no clue what was going on until, until we kind of got a reveal. I love that. So here's the deal. You know, I've got a campaign world set up pretty much. I've got all my concepts set up pretty much. And now I want to have some first adventures. I want to get you know, whatever players I get. Um, you're just going in the game world. But I want to do it without tipping my hand because, you know, I, I run a sandbox game for the most part, which, you know, what that really means is um, TC wants me to restart some stuff here. Anyhow, what it really means is I've got a lot of plots going on. Whether or not the players choose to engage in these plots um, doesn't matter. You know, sh you know, in other words, there are things in the world that are going to happen um, and they're going to happen if the players ignore them or not. If the players choose to get involved with stuff, they may make dramatic differences to what will happen. They may completely stop something from happening or you know, have it go in a different direction. But, you know, there's kind of like balls have been, and you know, uh, or dice have been cast. Excuse me. You know, uh, balls have been set, you know, uh, you know, things have been set in motion and uh, balls are rolling, all that kind of junk. Um, so let, let's give you like an example of uh, some things that, you know, aren't going to happen in my campaign. But, you know, just, just to give you an idea. Um, let's pretend that in my campaign world, uh, there's a bunch of uh, city-states that are at war, but actually all of the royalty and all the leaders and, you know, uh, military leadership, they've all been replaced by shape-shifting demons. They're all in cahoots. The whole idea is they just want to have as many battles as possible because the more people that die in horrible agony, uh, the more souls they get for their demon lords in a particular geographical area. So let's, let's say that's going on, but nobody knows that. Let's say also uh, to uh, the West, we'll call it. Um, a lot of slaves are being taken. People are just being taken by gnolls on the outskirts of like these other city-states. Um, the gnolls are kind of taking slaves. Nobody knows they're taking slaves. They think they're eating them, but perhaps they'll find out they're taking slaves. Gnolls need people to help them dig out and excavate um, these uh, sites they found. They found underground this old technology from God knows who. Um, and the gnolls are kind of savvy, and they're, and they're a little tech savvy, and so they're, they're putting this stuff together because they want to become a force in the world. But they're going to um, finally, um, you know, uh, unearth something they wish they hadn't in terms of something that's survived. But this is something that nobody knows. And let's just say, um, went back to the south, there's some unexplored lands. Let's say livers, lizard man type people live there. There's some, there's, some, uh, there's some people down there you could trade with on the way, say little islands. But you get down these unexplored lands full of, full of treasure and adventure. However, um, these lizard people have never really seen other humanoids before, and you, if you go down there, you could actually trigger a war. Uh, so that, that, those are kind of like the big things that are happening, but I don't want to tip my hand. So in the initial adventures I have with players, and I've made this mistake before, I don't want to introduce too much of these plots so the players start to guess what's really going on. I want to slowly introduce them to this, so they want to have some inconsequential adventures that just give them a feel for the world. So that's what I need to do. So if you have any great suggestions, maybe you can send them my way. Or what do you do when you have writer's block to get your get yourself going in terms of having some of those initial adventures where you don't tip your hand too much? What do you do?